Yeah. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Welcome to My World with Nat. I am always excited to have a new guest on, but Julianne Kristoff from Change Your Evolution is here. Uh, she is my gal who likes to align our humanness with our, with our beingness. That's right. And it's all about, you know, us taking control of our lives. And you really help people get in touch with who they are, who they truly mm -hmm. are, right? Their true self. Yep. True self. And we've been talking for like 10 minutes already. And I'm like, okay, let's press record so people can get in on the conversation. And uh, this yep. is a recording, but if you have questions for Julianne or myself, please make sure you drop them in the comments so that we can um, answer them. Julianne, yes. thank you so much for coming this morning and being here with me. Thank you for having me, by the way, Natalie, because this has been so long. We haven't connected in such a long time and I follow you on Instagram, but I'm like, I need to speak with her. So I'm yes. super happy. Yes. So it's a beautiful day in the DR today. So I won't lie. I'm wearing a cute sundress. I'm glad to see you wearing a t-shirt. So it must be warm yes. where you are now. No, short <laughs> it's actually but, like know, 20 outside. It's not too bad for October 12th. <laughs> that's not, and you know, I was just saying to you that part of, you know, a change that we're experiencing is this, you know, I hate to talk about the weather, but we keep expecting it to get cold and it's not getting cold. And it's something we are slowly adjusting to that, you know, I can still wear sandals and flip flops and sundresses and it's October. Mm -hmm. So I can still wear flip flops. Imagine. And I'm in Montreal. We're in October. And I, and I love it. And I remember oh one year, I think I wore flip flops to the beginning of December because it was so warm that year. It, it was the incredible. first year we moved. So it, I love that change is all over. <laughs> it is all over. And yeah. let's be honest, like, there's a lot of change going on in, in our world right now. And there's a lot happening. And part of my motivation to have you with me is just to get listeners to see the change potentially. Um, maybe they're questioning change. And how can we deal with all this change just for, for ourselves? And I know that we have been challenged down here um, with, you know, things coming in, seeping through uh, from mainstream media, even though we are doing different, you know, different type of, of listening and research on what's going on. Like, what are you seeing? What are you feeling out there? Well, I think it's probably like most, it's like we're being bombarded from the outside in and we're trying, we're forced to obey and conform. This yeah. has been going on for 2,000 years. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's not a novelty. That's, the, not a novelty. that's the area, that's the one way that um, we've been conditioned to live. And right now it's even more emphasized because everything is changing. The, it, we're moving into, okay, so I'll go into astrology and I'm not an astrologer, but we're moving yeah. Into the age of Aquarius, which is a very different vibration. And we know that Earth is also changing vibration, the planets and all that. So this, the impact on us is exactly what's happening right now. We are forced to change. We're forced to let go of what's keeping us small, what's keeping us stuck. Mm -hmm. So what happens is exactly what's happening now. People are trying to control and really put us in this tight container so they can have power. Yeah. Now, the change that has to happen is about our true selves is is it comes from us. Do we still want others to control us? Or do we want to be in control of ourselves? Yes. And we are so conditioned to look on the outside and bring it on the inside to look better, to feel better, to think that we're someone or something that we're important, that we're loved, that we're this, this and that, that we it's hard for us to say i don't want this anymore because i'm scared of being rejected abandoned not wanted not loved and all that so those are programs when we are when we're able to turn our focus to ourselves and say hold on here i want to live from the inside out 
So knowing who I am at the core, my true self, mm. and really share that with the world, because I'm not afraid of not being loved. I'm not afraid of rejection. I'm not afraid of being abandoned, because I'm here for myself. And those who belong around me will be with me no matter what. Then yeah. you have power. Then whatever is going on on the outside doesn't affect you the same way. Of course, yeah. you're... you're the three I call it the 3D world the outside world yeah there might be chaos but your inner world you're strong and you're at peace you yeah. know where you're going regardless you know you'll be fine and it's knowing what is a priority to you you know Ooh. knowing what is important and and tapping into that and I know you know for ourselves it's it's a, like a more it's a daily check in for myself it's like every morning i start like you know i have my my 3 w's i call them my my water my workout and my writing nice. and those three things are my anchor for the day mm -hmm. and i know if i miss one or i haven't planned it one it, it 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 unbalances a little bit of what goes on um, and there is, I mean, let's, we're not going to tippy toe but around it. We have a worldly situation going on right now that's yep. creating a lot of change for a lot of people um, that's creating division. And yep. I know that for myself, I sort I, I posted yesterday on uh, social media, you know, there's a lot of things I don't understand. There's a lot of things I sort of go, really? There's a lot of things that confuse me. But what I did know, you know, what I do know is like, I know where I am. I'm in a good place. I know that, you know, the food I'm eating is, is coming from a field somewhere. It's nourishing me that I'm feeling healthier. And those things are the ones that I'm holding on to knowing that I'm doing right. Mm -hmm. So how do we, you know, how do we stay in that bubble? Like, and I hate to call it a bubble, but it's almost what you have to do, right? Is sort of envelop yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you have to become the focus of your life. So it would be your mm. bubble. It's like, what's really important for me? What do yeah. I really, I always, I yeah. work with three questions. What do I really want? What do I really love? And who am I really? Mm. Those are, those are, those are pretty big questions. <laughs> those are like, you, I remember the first time I don't, I didn't even have kids when I asked myself that question the first time. So I was probably 27 and I think it took me a month to answer those questions. I didn't know. I had no clue. I had to really dig deep. And that's when I started to, on my own transformation path, <laughs> self-transformation. Yeah. And yeah. Um, those are really deep questions. But if you don't know those questions, it's hard to have standards, to have rules, to, to have boundaries, to uh, know where you're going, how you want to live and yeah. what to let go of, what not to hang on to. Yeah. Because that's the problem now is like you say, you know, what's good for you and you want this. It becomes really important for you. Those are non-negotiables. But yeah. when we allow the outside world to dictate or to tell us what's important for us and what we should do and what is good for us. We don't know how to listen to ourselves. We don't know how to yes. trust ourselves. So that's what, that's the base, that, that's where I start with people to, we need to learn to reconnect to our true self so we can hear our own guidance. So we yeah. can know what is good for us, regardless of what is being said. Because what's good uh, for me might not be good for you. Uh, 100%. Might for me. Might not be a yeah. good workout for you. So why would you, why would I try to convince you or to yeah. impose something? No. So yeah. reconnecting to self is the, is really the most crucial. It's, it's the start. It's like, that's what you need to learn to do in the first place. If you don't Reconnect know how. Yep. To yourself. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put those three questions in the description yes. later, just so that people can self, self-reflect on those ones for sure. And that's, yes, and to, we're so much in our mind that mm. we don't know what our heart wants. And the one thing that Ow. I, I did, I realized that a while ago, but that I work with my clients is really our heart is our guiding system. That's where yeah. we know what is right for us. And our head is here to execute what our heart wants. 
that's where it gives a direction and it moves us forward. That's what we choose. We decide with the, with the head. We give it a direction, but we choose yeah. with the heart. Yeah. That the heart knows what is good for us. Who Absolutely. is good for us and who is not good for us, whatever it is. So to, learning to do that, to reconnect here first, yeah. and listen is crucial, especially yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday morning, I I sat down to this work, and I and all I could hear was, "Go to the beach, go walk the beach, walk the beach." And it's like I gotta work. Go walk the beach. Okay, I'm gonna go walk on the beach. But the walk and the grounding definitely shifted the 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 perspective of the day, um, and that's where I was sort of got inspired with this whole idea. of, you know, I know I recognize what I don't like what I don't know. And I, and I, but I do recognize what I do know. And those things are crucial and it's a new week. So I'm starting fresh. Yes. And you know what? It's when we recognize what we don't know, it gives us the power to be curious and learn. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that curiosity is, um, you know, I think that's part of that keeping small, right? Because when people start being curious, that's what we're questions. not small anymore. No, we're not small. And uh, questioning. Cur- yeah, go. go ahead. No, 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 go. What I love about curiosity is with a curious mind, you're automatically in non-judgment. Mm. And yes. this is where the power lies. Oh my God, that's so powerful. Say that again. So when you're curious. When, yeah. With a curious mind, you're automatically yeah. in non-judgment. You're not judging. You're wanting answers. You're wanting to learn. You want to see what's right, what, like how it feels for you. It's like, oh, is this, and you, you keep questioning. So you, yeah. you're finding things. You're seeing, oh my God, like, or, oh, no way. Whatever it is, what resonates with you and what doesn't. It yeah. keeps you moving forward and it allows you to expand. Oh my when gosh, I love that. It's true. When we don't, yeah, when we don't judge ourselves, it means that we're not keeping yourself small. We're not mm-hmm. like hanging yourself on the head saying, you're not good enough. You shouldn't be doing this. No, no, no. you're just open. So, yeah. Yeah. I find, I find awesome. that since we've arrived here, you know, our daughter definitely has that curious, like everything is a question. And sometimes as a parent, you're like, oh yeah, another question. <laughs> but we don't want to shut that down because you know, mm-hmm. kids are the most curious and somewhere along the path, we do lose that sense of curiosity um, mm-hmm. as you would go. And I think it, it just, it goes back to um, the expectations that are put on us by society, the expectations that we are told to do. And I know that in this move that we executed, we challenged the narrative of what was expected, you know, um, Love maybe, it. you have, you have a house and you're supposed to live in the house and your daughter's supposed to go to school and, 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 you know, either have a business or have a job and do those things and showing people that, you know, there is another way. Now, is it the right way for you? It might not be. Um, I was told by many people, oh, I could never do what you're doing. You can't, I don't know if that's certainly true. Maybe it's in the moment. That's what's true, but Mm -hmm. I don't think we knew we were going to be able to do this either until it sort of fell in our lap and we thought, okay, opportunities there, let's take it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we, what we do know is we definitely are following paths that um, with more peace, more ease. Um, well, you automatically know that when there's peace and ease that you're in alignment. Yeah. When there's struggle and it's like oh, hard and you're always there questioning. It's like, but not good questions. Like you're yeah. doubting yourself and then you have to push. That's like yeah. not at all the right path. So you're in resistance. You don't want to see anything. You're in your head. You're completely disconnected. And, ugh. but when you yeah. take the time to stop and breathe. So yeah. you can and it goes with, and I mean, I, I think I'm going to preface <laughs> or, or share with the audience that by no means is life perfect here either. It is good. It is not perfect. And yes, we face challenges and our challenges are just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And I think the biggest, I mean, for me personally, 
was that halfway through a coaching program, um, my coaches said to me, do you not realize that what you did, you could help other people do? And I said to them, are you suggesting that I change my whole business? And they're like, yeah, sort of. Yeah. I have to tell you that it was more scary making that decision than it was moving here. Mm. And don't ask me to explain, but it, it, it really shook me for about, gosh, a good week. I was, I felt lost, like this idea of like starting fresh, starting new, but soon realized, and the word uh, I should made a list of, of words today, but evolution, right? Mm. That our businesses can evolve, that as people, we evolve, but we don't, yeah. we're not, we're not taught, you know, to see it that way. And then when I looked at sort of this timeline of where I've worked, what I've done, who I've worked for, the skill sets I've built. And I took from all of those things. Here I had this new business. Oh, I just got shivers. That Love it. um that I can do this. Yeah. And it is doable. Um does it That's have its challenges? Yes, but it's not the same challenge, you know, and it's a different way of working. Like I get to show up and talk about stuff I love to do and make little videos and go on site visits for clients because, you know, they want me to see where they could potentially live. These are all things that I love doing that I did in another lifetime. And I've just culminated them all to be here. So um, we don't realize everything that we accomplish. And that's something that I yeah. always encourage everyone I work with to, because, you know, self-evolution is is huge and when you're living it when you're you're in your life we don't take the time to look back and appreciate and look at everything that we've accomplished and everything yeah. that we know um the wisdom that we now have and carry that we can share we just take it for yeah. granted because it's our everyday life and we're just moving forward but to really stop and look at, make the inventory of everything that you went through, everything that you learned, yes. all the, the, the expansion that you took, everything that you let go of that was hard, that you yeah. said, no, I'm freaking doing this. I have the courage, the strength to move forward and accomplish a lot. Once you do that and you own who you are and what you're here for and what you can do with all this, a new life is there for you. Just like you saw, you're like, oh my God, I did this, 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 and that. And I can just package this you're, up and go. You're, you're going to appreciate that um, they had me do a couple of exercises where they asked me to list all these transformation I lived um, in my life, like where I had to take a leap, and, you mm -hmm. know, big leaps, you know? So, you know, at 20, I decided to go live on my own when I could have lived at my parents'. And then I went to university, but not nearby my parents. I went to six hours away. Always these big sort of jumps. Mm -hmm. And I, I list all these things. <laughs> and then I don't do anything. With them. And I remember thinking in the last six months, like, what am I doing with this? But when she dropped the bomb and said, do you know how much a badass you are? Like you've just picked up your old family and moved to another country. I'm like, oh. She goes, how many other people? And I, exactly. and then I, and then I realized, oh, now I know why you had me do all those things because, you know, but in the, I, I recognized in the moment I wasn't ready to hear it, see it, you know, or listen to it. Um, but that's why now sometimes when people call and I have a clarity call with them about this, this option for them of potentially relocating, I'm like, what are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. And that's a really powerful question because then they don't know they're waiting for it's like anything in life what are you waiting yeah. for what are you waiting for to leave a relationship that doesn't serve you what are you oh waiting gosh, for to yeah. leave a job that doesn't serve you to leave it whatever and relationship yeah. could be your your better half or a friend or yeah anything yeah it's like yeah what what is keeping you there yeah and most often it's fear but fear keeps you small so yeah Absolutely. Take that leap. I know I've been in suspense between two. It's like, oh my God, I have to let go of this and I have to move forward. It's like, oh my God, this leap is so huge. And to let go of everything that I've known from until now, it's like, yeah. whoa, this is really scary. 
but there's no other way. Well, for me, there was no other way. Some people will choose, it, but for me, that wasn't even, it's not even a, I've dedicated my own life to my own self-transformation. So there's yeah, yeah, no yeah. way that I'm not going to go, but it is freaking scary. But then how yeah. to use fear to propel you and to turn it into something inspiring. That's the key. Your percent. So if we could give like maybe two top things we need to re remember or to kind of work on, if this is something you're, you're looking to change or shift. You need to we reconnect want to self. To reconnect to, to, to self. self. To yeah. your heart. That's the first thing. You want to become solid in your essence. So whatever happens around doesn't yeah. impact you. Does it? It doesn't sway you. It might impact yeah. you, but it won't sway you. You know that you're there for yourself. Yeah. And to really tr honestly trust, there's so many things I would say. It's like to be honest with yourself <laughs> and trust is yeah. crucial. But doing this alone is also sometimes hard. It, it's scary. It is. It's like it is scary. Yeah. Go in the circle. So, so in that spirit, if somebody's looking for some support and they want to navigate, do they, is there an option to get on a call with you? What, what oh, is yeah. the next step? Definitely. They can reach out to me, jac at changerevolution.ca, or they okay. can go on my website, changerevolution.ca. Yeah. I have a free discovery call. It's 20 minute where I really, I want to know what you're dealing with, what you want to accomplish. Yeah. And they get to know me too, to see if it's really yeah. a match. And Absolutely. There's different options. There is, I have a, a self-study program that is, they can just purchase it on my website. I have yeah. group coaching. I have individual coaching. I have many things, many different options. So I will, I will put that. Yeah. I'll put it in the description yeah. so that they can book that with you. Definitely. That'd be awesome. awesome. Excellent. Thank you so now much. Is the time to change yes. and reconnect. We're change so and reconnect. And, and listen, and it may be that you want to change and reconnect on the beach. Oh, you know what? And I would still move with my kids. <laughs> yeah. But, mm. And, and if you are looking for support in that area, um, mm. uh, I am supporting families who are deciding to relocate and it's a pretty much an A to Z program from the, from where you are located in this moment, uh, to the location that you're going to, uh, three easy steps that we need to look into. So I also have a discovery call that you can book and see where you're at, where you want to be. And what is missing for you to get there? And that's what we will work on. And I will put that, oh, my contact that. info as well. Yeah. It's so needed. Miss yep. Julianne, thank you so much for being thank here. You. I am so, thank so you. grateful. So grateful. Thank you, Natalie. And everyone really who's fun. listened, remember to drop, um, drop in the comments. If you are watching this on YouTube, make sure that you, sub you like the video and you subscribe to the channel for more great, input. Thanks so much and have a great day, everybody. Bye now. Bye.